All right. Let us have a look at the different roles in cybersecurity because before you move ahead with the actual cybersecurity you should have the knowledge of different roles in this field. So the first thing is penetration tester. Penetration testers help the business and the organizations identify the security weaknesses in their information systems network which affect their digital assets and the computer networks some hold in house positions with permanent employers functioning as a part of internal cyber security or information technology others work specialized firms to provide penetration testing services as i had mentioned in the previous lectures now the industries that deal with high volumes of sensitive personal classified or proprietary information tend to bring penetration testers on high demand on high numbers some employers place on more emphasis on the candidates knowledge and experience than their formal education backgrounds that is why i always press on the line that knowledge is more important than finishing the course or having a certification according to the bureau of labor statistics the average salary of information security analysts or penetration testers between 2018 and 2019 is around $100,000 per year in the united states again this number is subject to change with many factors like experience the profile knowledge degree and certification so what actually uh, penetration testing or penetration testers require well they require a solid understanding of networking and most of the employers prefer those candidates who at least have some basic knowledge of computer networks because unless and until you have the knowledge of computer networks uh, you won't be able to uh, you know crack the network systems then programming language or scripting or coding is very important testers with good working knowledge of scripting and coding can save a great deal of time on individual assessments thus uh, they offer a great value to their employees command on the operating systems that's right uh, you might have heard that most of the penetration testers use kali linux as an operating system and therefore penetration testing professionals need the advanced knowledge of the operating systems they attempt to hack or breach in conducting their assessments mostly windows operating system is used by many organizations but in order to get into the windows operating system kali operating system or the linux operating system is helpful teamwork and desire to learn is also a uh, very important now hackers and cyber criminals constantly change their strategies and tactics and technology that continually evolves so penetration testing professionals need to stay updated on the latest developments and that is why uh, people who are keen to learn those candidates which are always in the learning phase are preferred by the employers and lastly report writing and verbal communication now team members must articulate their findings right whatever you have found out in the assessment or penetration test you should be able to note down so that the upper management should be able to understand it for example if you are a penetration tester working for my organization and i am the upper management being the upper management i am cisa qualified i am cism qualified i am iso qualified now i don't know how you have executed the xss query but i do know what xss is but i don't know what python is i don't know how to code so you should be able to write the report in such a way that i can understand what exactly is the vulnerability what is the root cause of the vulnerability and what impact can this vulnerability have on my organization and that is why strong writing skills serve penetration testing professionals well because their duties include producing a lot of reports so that the upper management can understand so this was for penetration testing 
pen testers spend most of their time conducting the assessments and running tests now these duties may target internal or external assets and testers can work both on site and remotely so if if you have if you want to know about a day in the life of a penetration tester so generally during the morning the tester or the testing team decides on a strategy for the project at hand and sets up the required tools in some cases this involves rounding up of what professional calls as open source intelligence or osint in the afternoon teams carry out the tests they spent the morning designing the tests and teams sometimes subdivide into smaller groups with one group playing the role of how hostile hackers and other playing the duties of internal people thus pen testers requirements involve many different responsibilities out of which we have discussed the important skills again i'm telling you the salary may change so don't come running to me that you said i will get a hundred thousand dollar salary it's not like that it depends upon different factors all right in the next lecture we'll talk about information security analyst <laughs>